Hour 20 of Garbage Day has sproinged itself into being. Prepare thy loins! In the room for this hour... Boots Rain Gear! Isfahan! Jimmy Franks! Nacho Gulag! Ortax! Zarla! Zarla! Yep! And our artist for this hour is... Portax. That's right, we got two Zarlas and two Portaxes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, taking over. That was uh, that was Bump Girl doing the vocals on the creepy, the creepy, creepy hollows theme song. Ew. I was into that song. So, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that was yeah, that was really good. Um, <laughs> so I apologize to everyone for how this is going to look. The way that I can read and draw at the same time. Yeah. We have this great setup. I'm gonna be using MS Paint. My um, my uh, tablet does not work on my main machine. I've not installed the drivers for it. <laughs> so this will be done with a mouse. Uh, yes. um, yeah. But we also have a painting mm -hmm. to give out if Boots wishes to. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to pop it up on the screen. <laughs> uh, wait, I'm sorry. I need the image of it. Uh, hold on. I'm going to scroll back a long ways. Found it. So you're going to um, pop it up on the screen yet? Um, pop. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. Um, so that. we're offering uh, first person. There's only one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's only one. $150 gets this. Uh, let's put this on the left side. This uh, six inch by six inch uh, painting that make that makes things stop. Yeah, if you were here if you were here for hour one, I think no two. Um, the first the first few hours they oh, were geez. people were spamming it for. <laughs> yeah, this was this was Lar. So that was our uh, everyone loves Lar. That was hour two. Yeah. <laughs> This is gonna be it. It's not. It's not gonna be as good as this MS Paint bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Very also... exciting. Yeah. Okay, so I was hoping that was gonna, I was hoping that was gonna play a new video. I'm gonna. See and the prize has been claimed. Oh my yeah. God! What's happening? Uh, public enemy number six has received. <laughs> Uh, the prize, so uh, we'll, I'll get uh, Portax in touch with you through email. We'll figure out how we can mail it out to you. Um, okay. That was a shell game, Congratulations, actually. Highlander. We'll be coming for oh, your head it, Wait, was it a shell game first? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll do, we need another, uh, do we need another incentive? Uh, not yet. We just did one. Okay. <laughs> I, got one, I got one for next time. Okay. Yes, yeah, sorry. Shell game got that first. Apologies, public enemy number six. I should not have... <laughs> <laughs> gotten your hopes up and then smashed them apart uh, <laughs> with my bare hands you, you snooze you lose Move your meat, lose your seat <laughs> um, shell game you are the now you will be the proud owner of ease on a very small canvas uh, let's see if I can, uh, was it painted on an ease soul uh, <laughs> So I have I have a problem where uh so the handsome videos we have these progressive series of, of videos and I got new ones from uh, Sanguinary Novel except the problem is uh the brow the it, it only went up to 10 I was like oh, I'll just replace the video on the on the server but it's cached the video so mm -hmm. uh Jimmy Franks just talked for a little bit while I yeah while I just manually plug plunk the video into <laughs> The stream. Did I tell you. Did I ever tell you guys the story of uh, the the supermarket raffle? Ooh, I, I want to hear kid. the story about the supermarket raffle. Um, yeah. Tell so us the was story. A kid, I was a kid. I lived in this very rural area. There's only a couple hundred people in the town that I lived in, so we had to go into town to get our groceries. And we were at this place. It was called Atomic Foods because this is a, this is in Eastern Washington, which is really close to the Hanford Nuclear Reservation, uh, which uh, was one of the part of the Manhattan Project in World War II. So everything is like atomic or nuclear uh, mm. themed. So we're at Atomic Foods and they have like a supermarket raffle. The grand prize was like a BMX bike. And I'm like nine. So I'm stoked because I didn't have a bike. I was like, I want that bicycle. So I like entered a bunch of times and, and just kind of forgot about it. And a couple of weeks later, we get a, I get a call. Uh, you know, like my mom answers the phone and it's like, it's for you. It's like some guy. And uh, like, yeah, it's like, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Franks, uh, this is Atomic Foods. Uh, congratulations. You won a raffle. Uh, when uh, can we expect you in to pick up your ham? Mm. So, 
I uh, I won a ham. I was nine years old, and uh, it was the only thing I ever won. <laughs> but uh, man, that ham was delicious. That uh, ham was my father. That's a, <laughs> that's a good story, Jimmy Frank. So yeah. I'm gonna pop that's up the new video. That ham's name was Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone clapped. All the hands. <laughs> this, uh, this new one is I fantastic. I have realized I've made a error <laughs> in my choice of uh, supply. Hold on. <laughs> we don't need to do MS Paint. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. What's happening? I kind of want to unmute your stream for a moment. No, it's not going to work. Okay. No. It, oh yeah. Oh, yeah I guess it won't. It, it, <laughs> um, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. We're right. six me, minutes um, in. I even haven't even talked about what the subject is. That's fine. Right. It's good. Oh, welcome to hour it's twenty. Good. Yeah. Hi. All right. I'm feeling. I'm feeling a, a second wind here. You good? Yes. Yeah. I think I can make it through this hour. It's start, starting to, to feel the physical effects of this, but that's okay. Uh, hey, yeah. friends. Yes. Uh, we 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 got. Oh boy. Blah, blah, blah. We got creepy holes <laughs> here. I'm just trying to find my Discord. Uh, there it is. There we are. Everything's good. Just move it over there, and I'm pasting in the doc, which I've probably already done. Um. Uh, we're on a site called Creepy Halls, creepyhalls.com. This was a document provided to us by Montreth probably an extremely long time ago. Let's find out. Uh, 2014. That is a very long time ago. Zala. Okay, there's like no colors available. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, it's, <laughs> it's very conceptual. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zala, could you read us the history of Creepy Halls? Uh, yes, let me see. It's the first thing in the doc. All right. So, we were the first to bring spirit keeping and paranormal collecting online and have offered a wealth of information to spirit keepers and paranormal collectors for free for over a decade. We are constantly in development of our exclusive para technology, some of which you see as staples in many other websites today, such as bridging, charging boxes, transmuting, spirit stones, etc. You can read more about this on our accomplishments page. The site encompasses the paranormal in as many avenues as possible, including magic, rituals, religions, spirits, aliens, ethereal beings, ghosts, ideologies, hauntings, and everything in between. We've had people ask about the work we do, and some scoff and say, well, anyone can learn how to do this, or anyone can learn to do that, or anyone can invoke a spirit. Sure they can. In the same respect, <laughs> I can go to college, get a degree, and learn to be a vet so I can care for my animals without a vet. Or go to law school and become a lawyer so I could do my own legal work for my business or any other profession. Sure, anyone can study and become anything they want. And likewise, they can practice any vocation on any level, novice, apprentice, master, etc. We are the professionals in this field. And we provide a shortcut for those who do not wish to study and learn and become professionals, but just want to enjoy <laughs> the paranormal. Not just everyone. Want to enjoy, the enjoy the paranormal. <laughs> Not everyone wants to learn how to invoke a goddess. They just want to be able to do it without enchantment or binding without the press of studying. And this is what we do. We cut out the work and allow people to just enjoy the paranormal on multiple levels. Mm. Our site spans outside our, of our store, obviously. And in this ever-growing site, we try to provide as many tools, as much information, and as many roads and aspects of the paranormal as possible. You We're know, always growing. Yeah. That's the problem with these uh, these millennial witches is they just don't understand the value of uh, hard day's work. <laughs> That's right. You're always growing in new directions to help those who have a passion or who want to have a passion be as educated as possible on the subject. <laughs> I want to believe in something. Can you give me something to uh, believe in? I love the idea of, of just – I desire to care about a thing. <laughs> I want to have Make a me passion. care again, please. Well, I guess, I guess Our website? a real thing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> our website is financed completely through the sales of our online store. We have kept sponsored ads of all kinds off of this site in order to keep this a community atmosphere. We do not charge to collectors, practitioners, or sellers who participate in the forum, and we do not charge any of the collectors, sellers, or practitioners who sell on the market pace because it allows those who are genuine about interacting with each other an opportunity to do so without having to worry about paying fees. We truly believe in a community atmosphere. Cool. That sounds great. It sounds like this is a real mishmash of uh, like like hippie woo uh, crap, 
No, hey. that description sounds totally legit. They're not going to sell random junk. It's all over the fucking place. It's great. Uh, <laughs> hey, Jimmy Franks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to be Magnolia. Pick any sentences you want from the next, like, seven paragraphs. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe none. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I was not born a young spirit. In fact, I don't think I was ever truly a child. I was born (laughs) mature and from a very young age was immediately attracted to the lifestyle of those in the 1930s and 1940s. I love to wear major racist. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) I love to wear flowing dresses. Listen to Cole Porter, Gershwin, Gus Kahn, the Dorsey brothers, and lest I forget the immortal Glenn Miller. I found a sanctuary in the field. Is, do they mean, like, literally immortal? <laughs> because it's good. It's available for sale. Because they're ghosts. I am a god. I... <laughs> uh, and then he just kind of raids through, like, a laundry list of uh, people like Myrna Loy, Jean Harlow, Norma Shearer, uh, Catherine Hepburn. It was my one connection to the secular world that grounded me. It was a life lived by those people decades before and just talks about uh, all the things that he likes I'm so, it's cute. just the Mario Paint music is going on in my <laughs> while you're talking about creepy ghost shit that's it I, 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 do you want me to keep going uh, no Isfahan hi uh, same thing for Ash just, just okay. go pick some sentences <laughs> I've always had that draw to the wild side of life. <laughs> the adventurous spirit that sometimes leads you to dangerous situations, but I've always made it out a stronger and wiser person. I met a bottom wall to do a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> go, Charmander, go. I know Pokemon things. I love to be scared and do things that may not be considered safe. I consider it to be the heartbeat of life. It makes it interesting and exciting. It was this thirst that led me to find a path of the paranormal. Swipe left. Uh, uh, <laughs> so. I've always been the thrill seeker. I like horror movies, going to condemned locations or houses, <laughs> working with the conjurations to being powerful and incredible beasts, using astral oh, travel to seek out the times some of the most terrifying monsters walk the earth, capture them in little capsules. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, researching how to resurrect the spirits no, no of some of Egypt's most influential spiritual monsters. Oh, wait, maybe this Walks. is Yugi. Oh my god, this is all just one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> walks in the pitch black of the woods where there is an entity to be discovered spelunking in caves in search of dwelling entity you name That's it and I'm up for it I'm not easily frightened but I love that jolt of natural electricity when you encounter something greater than yourself jolt healer <laughs> when I'm not conjuring I, I take a break by taking a cruise on my motorcycle having an adventure <laughs> through the woods on my ATV play my drums or just taking soul ice listening to my music cranked in my room <laughs> I'm a 15-year-old boy. Uh, uh, he's 10. I also oh, sell sorry. magic. <laughs> different um, spirits like different activities, thing. and I include my spirits in everything I do. With some of my <laughs> African tribal spirits, I will treat them to some native tunes, and they get a charge out of drum beats. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm not I'm not playing the drums for me. I'm How playing them racist for... racist is it? Yeah. You know, just African. Yeah, African. just all, just all yep. of Africa. <laughs> The, the, di- it's, the diaspora. It's one they all. Uh, one homogenous <laughs> continent. <laughs> and and uh, below that is the actual academic stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nutshell. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to talk about the a, a little bit about the different classifications of spirits, enchantment, enchantments, entities, and spells that are offered by Creepy Hollows. Um, I would be happy to do that. Yeah. So apparently, within each class, there's three tiers as well. Uh, just, just, I'll read a few of these. This doc is huge. All right. Well, below are the definitions of classification for the spirits, enchantments, entities, and spells that are offered by Creepy Hollows. Within each class rating, there are tiers of energy rating tiers 1, 2, or 3. This is a scale pro- pr- proprietary to Creepy Hollows. Class 1. Spirits slash spells slash magic contained within slightly noticeable... Typically only revealed when beckoned and results vary in in intensity. Strong and can be found in almost everyone's home. With such a light imprint of the person, being, or magic, it even commonly found in coins and cash in almost anyone's pocket. Class 2. 
More word salad. Uh, spirit spells magic noticeable. Can be revealed when beckoned or may reveal itself to the owner during times of bonding and or when an opportunity or danger is present. Very strong and can be found in great numbers through brokers, venues of the like, and antique stores. Class 3. Spirit spells magic very noticeable. Presence can be felt by owner when holding, wearing, or near the object. Powerful and can be found through brokers, venues of the like, and antique stores. All right, let's just skip straight to class five. Let's, let's, I don't give a <laughs> shit about this this crappy okay. class one, class two, class three <laughs> shit. Let's class just five is straight, three straight to the stuff that is real powerful and that I want uh, in me or doing to me. I don't even know what we're talking about. Class five. Spirit spells magic physically and or spiritually present. Object effects, emotion, senses, motor skills, thoughts, and mood of not only the owner, but of those around the object. Is this a spell or an SCP? <laughs> uh, the object can be used as a portal to inflict or bestow the powers contained within to others as far as a thousand miles away. It can move by itself and can move objects near it. Incredibly powerful and rare. Do they sell those? I guess. They I, must I, sell I think. I think that would be like irresponsible to sell something of that uh, class. That class. Here too. <laughs> Not like spirit you know, spells uh, magic. Uh, a a, a sp spoiler for tier two and three. It, they just increase the radius. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. It's almost copy pasted directly. Uh, Portex, uh, control yeah. F, search for cheeks. <laughs> search oh, for no. G oh, can do. Damn <laughs> cheeks. What the hell do I get out of break out of Wait this window? When is she not on the search for cheeks? I'm still on the <laughs> page. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. Double duty. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> reading, so. There we go. I got out of it. All, All right. right. We're, we're into some bargain yep. spells. Uh, is going to teach us how to use a spell to add color to cheeks and lips. Finally. Color There's been cheeks. no way to Fuck do that. Fuck makeup. Use magic. Color to <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. It's makeup like a pleb. Add color to cheeks and lips. Put some rosiness into your cheeks and color to your lips with this Matriana spell. You can use the spell as many times as you want. Oh, it's a cantrip. If you feel like the effects of the spell start to wane, you can recast yourself any time to recharge the spell. A novice or master can recite this spell. You can use any draws you wish. Candles, stones, incense, wands, whatever makes you feel comfortable as your level of comfort in casting is paramount to its success. That was awkward. Please choose method of delivery of spell. Price varies with the method you choose. You will receive a beautiful downloadable sheet with this purchase regardless of which delivery method you choose, which contains the spell and instructions. Oh boy. <laughs> they don't just send you a bunch of chicken bones and shit. They'll tell you how to use it. You must download within 24 hours or the link will expire. Oh, uh, it works <laughs> like uh, emulator ROMs, huh? I guess... I guess through perhaps perhaps it gets banished to a shadow realm of some sort. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, you want to know how much that spell costs? How much does it cost? The well, it's the low low price of one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bargain. <laughs> it really is. I'd be so stupid good. too. Uh, my name's. Uh, you go back to art. My name is Nikki Six. Can do. But not that Nikki Six. It's spelled even dumber <laughs> somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> This spell is for those who want to increase. Sorry, bring luck in gambling. This spell is for those who want to increase their odds in games of chance, such as the lottery, craps, poker, slots, and any other gambling game. Does it help with Mario Paint? Because I am really struggling. <laughs> oh, so I guess this is. Uh, oh, this is my review of it. Okay. So far, I haven't won anything, but business has been coming in much, much more since getting the 24-hour casting. So I feel it works. <laughs> Let's do another thing. It guess. doesn't do the one thing you said it would do. <laughs> it doesn't do that. Um, uh, Jimmy Franks, I know you're a very yeah. uh, uh, you're a very homey kind of person. Yep. Uh, you know I mean? And you've got yep. two you've got two spells uh, for us. One you're going to give us the description. This document is very strange. <laughs> uh, start with help children to do their chores, and then help cleaning go faster. Because you can combine these spells together. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fast forward your children. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I got a couple spells for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, here we go. Uh, help children do their chores. Uh, it's a spell to help children do their chores more quickly and more efficiently. Uh, all right, you with me so far? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's uh, help clean and go faster. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I don't really have anything for that last one, so I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, it's a customer purchase item, but our site uh, cast this for uh, all, all, all those are reviews. These yeah, are... yeah, yeah. This, as I yeah. said, this doc is a little all over the place. <laughs> okay, <people> <laughs> who, <laughs> but maybe in people a fun who way. reviewed. Well, let me tell you about help cleaning go faster. Uh, this customer purchased the item at our site. I cast this for all members of my family and what an impact it is already making. Highly recommend it. Advantages. Kids are working much quicker, and all of us appear far more focused on tasks, which not only speeds up chores, but makes them easier as well. Disadvantages, none. Definitely, oh, that's the next uh, header. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd also like to mention that uh, what I purchased, we called it a spell, but it's actually methamphetamine. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, hey, hey, Nutshell. Great name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yesteryear. Uh, you're going you're gonna to tell us about a spell called the If Not Today, Perhaps Yesteryear spell. Uh, and just read the description that's in the doc, please. Um, okay. Uh, if not today, perhaps yesteryear, there is no doubt time travel has intrigued and captivated humans for millennium. Just they have one. concocted or, every or kind has of... it, if they're traveling through time. <laughs> they have concocted every kind of design and machine to transport their physical body through the portals of time and space, with no avail. There are deaths attributed to the want of time travel through electrical means and through the thousand of year that it <laughs> And through the thousands of year, it has evaded those who seek <laughs> to travel through time's door by removing their physical body from their present time. Time travel has little to do with the physical body and much more to do with the astral body. Time travel may be achieved through a portal used by your astral body. There are several ways to go about time travel. You can do it in meditation, which most people find the most difficult because it requires absolute relaxation and dedicated focus. Most of us find it in the realm between sleep and unconsciousness. This treasure will help you achieve that. Bound by a spell to lift the astral body while guiding your subconscious in its sleep. Your experience, what will seem to you to be a dream, but but is what is really your experience in traveling through time. Really? For real? <laughs> after traveling, some people find they recognize new smells and have flashbacks of what they did in another time after they wake up for the day. It's not deja vu. <laughs> Or a stroke, yeah. Um, <laughs> it is an amazing experience that is not dangerous because it does not require anything other than the spell and you falling to sleep. At first, it will be difficult to control what, of what time period you are sent to. In the beginning, most find they go back only four to five years, and some go back as far as the 1400s. That's, that's an incredibly broad <laughs> scale of time there. Um, with time and experience, you will find you can send yourself to any time period you wish. It is an incredible experience to be able to see and hear and feel what others did in another time. Public Enemy Number 6 says, Please stop trying to explain Primer to me. I specifically asked you not to, yet you persist. <laughs> there are a few who have harnessed this gift to see old relatives and friends. It truly is a remarkable journey, and one you will find enlightens and enriches and uplifts your life. My personal favorite time period is late 1800s, usually between 1850 and 1880. You will find your own favorites and embark on journeys that will shape and mold your life, character, and outlook. And go back in time and watch the dude from Metallica light himself on fire accidentally. <laughs> what if I dream him in a different dimension? Um, uh, astral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's Zarla. Yes. So, like, we were in our discount spells. We had, like, a dollar spell. Uh, Nutshell just read a $25 spell. Let's get into, like, the real, the real meaty stuff. The real, uh, I did a very vulgar gesture for no good reason when I said that. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I'm grossed the out by myself, but nobody saw it, and then I didn't have to call it out, but whatever. <laughs> Look how spooky! I made spooky! That's, that's <laughs> amazing. Oh, <Ooh>. uh, beautiful! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's so scary! That's a binding of Isaac boss. Yeah, get your, get your what faces out in the chair. <laughs> um, hey, Zala, Yes, yes, you're gonna, yes. you're gonna sell a product that will read the dormant DNA in yourself and others. <laughs> extra screw! <laughs> 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 Just so you know, like the, the, the people at Discord can't hear this, I am playing the Mario Paint music. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Always good. So I just wanted to watch the ghost freak out for a little second. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. 
<laughs> okay. So, read the dormant DNA in yourself and others. Another CH-exclusive paratechnology. Through this complex binding we've developed, you can read the dormant DNA in yourself and others, which makes for quite an interesting read. Because of the diversity of the people on the planet, and what they've been mixed with over their ancestors' time here on Earth, you can reveal some startling and surprising dormant factors in your own DNA and the DNA of those around you. Dormant DNA means what exists within you that is not actively portrayed. It can be physical traits, personality traits, behavioral traits, eye, skin, hair color, virtually anything. Considering those who are mixed with multiple non-human races, the possibilities of what exists as a possibility for yourself that was never realized in physical or non-physical form is amazing! You will receive instructions with this binding so you can read your own DNA to see what lie dormant within yourself and for reading in others. You can do quick reads or you can choose to do more in-depth readings. The binding comes with both capabilities, a truly exceptional piece of paratechnology. Our price, $175. Wow. Paratechnology. A bargain at twice the price. It, uh, surely that works. It must. Yeah, it has I mean, to. if you're spending a drop Otherwise on 200 bucks, it wouldn't you know, be that expensive if it didn't do anything, right? All, yeah. I, can <laughs> all, I, all I can hear is para 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 paratechnology. <laughs> You know, I hear that the, the dormant DNA test is how they caught the uh, they caught the uh, the Golden State Killer. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, I've got. Uh, this isn't so much a spell as it is. Subscribe to our new Vampire Club. <laughs> if you want to subscribe with a monthly charge, use the link below. If you want to pay for a year in advance, add the listing to your cart. Pick the one that is most convenient for you. Do not subscribe and buy the listing. Only pick one so you're option. So saying I can have a different <laughs> flavor of vampire every month. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a great deal. Yeah. yeah Contrast wow. cool vampires. This was going Dracula. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Let's talk vampires. Okay. Yes. Yay. Yeah, I first Yay. Smoothly. I did that. Uh... <laughs> Wait, okay. Use the subscribe button to enroll monthly and your PayPal account will be de debited $10 a month or purchase this listing to buy your subscription, it says this twice, at a discounted price. Every month you're going to receive an email that will contain material all exclusive to Creepy Hollows. You will receive a code for a special, comma, Vampire Binding Spells and Spirits will be offered throughout the year that is exclusive to subscribers only. You will receive vampiric spells from the Books of Ash, Magnolia, and their colleagues, and various tidbits of information that pertain to vampiric rituals, ceremonies, legends, etc. So, pay $10 a month for this listserv. <laughs> $10 a month for this email. I, I, I like Portex is better, where it's just of the different vampire visits you every month. Because uh, yeah. it, it reminded me, it reminded me of my ex. Of the month club. My, my, Ooh, my, my, are you a Nosferatu? Okay, my, I'm ex, my ex signed up for a wine club, and then she like never ordered them, and so uh, at, at the very end of her subscription, they just sent her like three cases of wine, and uh, I just imagine like doing the same thing, and then just your house is full of vampires. <laughs> this is like a party, a vampire party in your house. Vampire party. <laughs> Oops, oh, I, just, I pasted this into the Twitch chat instead of the Discord. I'm doing good. It's for hot reading thing, but I just pasted into both places. <laughs> okay. Uh, just, just for everybody uh, out there, I'm going to read it off of the chat. <laughs> Morality, courage, sexual drive, leadership, confidence. <laughs> this powerful binding intended for men is on a vessel of your choice. It is cast by Ash with spells for virility, courage, sexual drive, and potency. Leadership and confidence. It brings the owner courage to make the right decisions, stand up for themselves and others, and always do the right thing for their life. Virility and sexual drive to be more potent, electric, and passionate in their sexual pursuits. Leadership to be patient and. Uh, it's cut off. Okay. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> be patient and fair, honest and sincere, and a balanced leader of themselves, others, and a th and a th and throughout life, and confidence, self-assured power, ready for life, and anything that comes your way. It is a powerful spell blend. This is a three M. Right? Tomorrow's magic today. <laughs> uh, a nutshell, man's man, man's man binding testosterone maxed out. Oh boy. <laughs> Why does it sound like they're bonus? 
keyword jamming in the name of the spell. <laughs> man's man binding. Testosterone maxed out. This binding is for the man who wants a boost of that testosterone magic that makes them a dominant male in the pack, suave with women, confess confident, gain physical strength, and overall charming beyond words. This was cast by Ash, using a unique blend of American, Egyptian, Greek, and Italian spells that form <laughs> to make any man who owns it a man's man. You will feel Yay. an increase in your confidence, see others treat you with greater respect, see women treating you with more admiration, see your physical strength grow, and see others treating you as though you are the alpha dog. This is intended oh, for men only, oh, and so not represented <laughs> for women. Vessel is your choice. <laughs> women love magic; they love it. <laughs> um, Guy with a, a string top, tank top, and backwards cap casting the spell. <laughs> <laughs> got oh, my, wow. gotta get my man's man binding testosterone maxed out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in a, in a move that is completely on brand for the Creepy Hollows website, uh, in December of 2014, they gave away an Xbox 360. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a creepy Xbox. <laughs> it was it just was one they had laying around. It's haunted by ghosts. Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> Call of Duty <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> let's, let's go to Nympho colon colon mail colon colon Chatan C6. <laughs> Chatan. <laughs> Ouch, I cut Chatan. myself on that Chatan. Chatan. <laughs> oh, music's fading. Oh, man, a baddie. Too cute. Yeah, the sprite... <laughs> the stamp sprite editor thing is way easier. <laughs> <laughs> Too cute. I'm gonna come after Simon Belmont. Did you find it? <laughs> Hello. I found hey. it. Jimmy Franks? Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's me? Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Let me, uh, let me, uh, Nympho. let me, let me put my sweater over my shoulder and put one, yeah. uh, one leg up on this chair. Yeah. <laughs> and I get up my pipe, adjust my glasses. <laughs> Let's be honest. We're only human and therefore we cannot always expect that our sex lives are going to be all we want them to be. If you're single, finding someone you can trust can be difficult. If you're in a relationship, Sometimes your schedules aren't always in tune and your sexual prowess and synchronization. And if you're married, well, that almost says enough for itself. It can be easy to forget to take care of your sexual needs in the face of so many other responsibilities. It's a scientific fact those who have sexual satisfaction on a regular basis, as regular to their own sexual needs, live longer. And who doesn't want to elongate the health of their life through the toe-curling, back-arching fun of sex? <laughs> For the, uh, the purpose, <laughs> it all depends on the symmetry, really. No. For, the, uh, for the purpose of being realistic and fulfilling our sexual needs when others can't, we're offering you the chance to call your own nympho to satisfy your sexual fantasies. Nymphos are standing by. <laughs> Wait for your call. Uh, I'll uh, attempt to explain this without being too vulgar. Uh, if you're the winner of this listing, you'll receive the invocation to call your own nympho to serve you. Nymphos are creatures whose sole purpose of existence is sexual pleasure. It's all they think about, do, and want. They have existed for as long as this earthly domain has existed and are used by thousands of people uh, for millennia on a, on a regular basis. You can call your nympho and have a wet, erotic dream that's so lifelike and real you may feel tingling sensations anywhere or everywhere on your body. <laughs> they can be so engaging and real, you'll find... Me... Uh, it's a supernatural me... being. They'll give you really uh, dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nympho once that gave me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, they, they can be so engaging and real, you'll find your physical body worked up, sweaty, wet, and many times, if you've accomplished an orgasm or two during, you'll find you've ejaculated. <laughs> how is that how that works? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Profound. Tell me more. The, the, the well, rare I dry just... orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jimmy likes it. <laughs> I use mine. I have multiple nymphos in dreams. What? And nympho humble hog. brag. <laughs> yeah. uh, in meditation and day fantasies. Again, I'll try to explain without being vulgar. Have sexual encounters and dreams that are 
the longest lasting and you might have multiple encounters through your sleep. With meditation, you have more of a tantric sexual encounter and feel the sexual hotspots in your chakras. Day fantasies are used in your personal sexual gratification rituals, whether it be in the shower, bed, floor, etc. When you're oh, ready, office. you're... <laughs> Rock hard. Or, or get your degree. Uh, <laughs> when, you, when you're ready, your nympho will come to you in your fantasy and ravish you however you'd like to be ravished. Uh, nymphos usually specialize in a certain aspect of sex. That's why I have multiple. Now, some are really great at bondage. And- uh, this is just kind of out of my page. Payroll. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> some are really good at the romantic, swept away in the arms of your hero sex. Others are great at that get down and dirty, nasty kind of sex. Some are passionate, love your body, and know how to use it sex. So we're really great for the affair, secret naughty sex, and on and on. Some shove a bottle of bleach in. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Someone they shot don't know what they do. Um, uh, Some of them are really into feed. I like I like the way this dog is served is designed. Montreth has like a like a a very unique like sort of style of dog where she'll she'll be sort of it it won't feel like there's any order to it, but it, it's this is just an escalating series of, of a little bit of everything and uh you know so we, we got into sort of like you know basic spells and the more advanced spells and then just like you know get your nymphos um <laughs> now, now let's get to the like the, the the hardcore academia of this uh zarla oh, good. uh just read uh mm-hmm. yeah. s- some of the university overview Mm-mm-mm. it's on page 27 uh university overview the university offers two types of instruction, personal and non-personal. Personal means the instruction you receive is intended for use by you only and not for you to use on other people or to use to create items for other people, with the exception of loved ones and close friends. Non-personal means the instruction you receive can be used for yourself, loved ones, or complete strangers. All classes and instructions are provided by Magnolia and Ash. The personal instruction and class going and relax the non-personal instruction. As with non-personal instruction, you'll be preparing things and performing tasks for people you've never met, and therefore serious consideration is taken in the level of competency with the subject at hand. Personal. Personal instruction offers classes and certificate programs that are anywhere from an hour of classes to a certificate program up to 20 or more hours of study. They're not as intensive or stringent as non-personal instruction. Classes are one-time instruction you receive and can work with at your leisure. Certificate programs involve a series of classes and, in some cases, testing that would be required to verify you understand everything you've been taught before you receive your certificate of completion. <laughs> when you see an info, what are the different kinds of ways they can have some- <laughs> We're going to teach you how to imagine something, okay? This is really hard. <laughs> But cost, depending on the class, it ranges from $88 to $140 per credit hour. Non-personal. Non-personal certifications are a series of classes that must be taken in a specific order, and you must pass testing in order to move to the next level. It is a program taken extremely seriously, and is offered only to those serious about becoming a true practitioner and not an average do-it-yourself seller. To so, obtain a certificate of completion. Oh, hmm? So just some quick calculation, uh, since it, the certificate program requires at least 20 hours of study. Uh, oh, 20 hours of study. I'm not sure how, much, how many times. Uh, I'm not sure if you're getting charged for those hours of study. Or mm-hmm. not, it's it's hard to tell, um, but I, I feel like you're paying between two thousand and like eight thousand dollars for classes here, so that's. Fun. Ooh, how else are you gonna learn to have a sexual fantasy? <sighs> There's no other way. Look, I spent I spent lots of money on animation degree, and it's really paying off here in this fucking Mario Paint. Shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> Get your money's worth this kind of stuff. Okay. How so else can you no, turn no, your lips red? Okay, so now yeah, <laughs> and your <just, laughs> <laughs> um, so let's get into uh, you know let's get into some serious uh, serious things for serious people that want serious things. Yeah. Uh, Magic is serious. I'm gonna, Finally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk yeah. about the custom conjuration nympho orgy. Okay. <laughs> Serious magic. You will receive custom conjurations of multiple nymphos who desire or are established in sexual activity together with their keeper. You can decide how many nymphos to include in your orgy below. Let's be honest, we're only human, and therefore we can always expect that our sex lives are going to be all we want them to be. Naturally. Wait a minute. Uh, this, is, this is the same thing that Jimmy Franks wrote. Yeah. Oh, so That's the exact same text? They copy and yeah. pasted it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a bunch yeah, I'm of scanning it and okay. it even has the token. Now you're going to call customer support. You're going to call customer support because yeah, right, you Sorry. receive two of the same thing. I love my nymphos. Uh, also, I'm mad about n- I'm mad about nude. 
Yay! <laughs> uh, mad about new. <laughs> mad about new. Ah, uh, <laughs> the porno sucky. parent. Sucky Man. now. <laughs> Bill, sucky. <laughs> Sorry. I wish Lemon were here right now. Hey, Lemon, are you listening in? Can you just join in the chat to say Bill for me? <laughs> oh, he's not here yet. Never mind. Sorry. Okay. Uh, sucky. Uh, be comfortable in the skin you're making. In be comfortable in the skin you're you're in with this spell that encourages you to appreciate yourself nude. Whether it's for lovemaking, self-confidence, naughty afternoon delight, Skyrods gets in flight. Uh, I think there was a reference that, is, that uh, Ironicus made in like hour three. Uh, or just plain fun, this spell makes you proud to wear your birthday suit. Liven up your life by enjoying the skin-tastic. Wear or hold the vessel while completely nude in front of the mirror or not. Whatever, and let the enchantments work their <laughs> magic for you. you. I can't. I can't assume you own a mirror. Uh, <laughs> your choice of class, and then, uh, oh, nutshell, you're going to read the review from Vega. Okay. Like a Chevy Vega. Yep. <laughs> or the no, it's it's the uh, Street Fighter Two character. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but which yeah. one, Claw or yeah. Dictator? Yeah, yeah Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Frank. Sorry, you know what? I haven't been giving you things to read. I'll do that. I'll fix that uh, shortly. No, look, I'm getting the high score. You guys, <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, she's a little I busy right now. Back to this spell before the binding even arrived. I feel more confident and sexy, and I'm more able to accept that I'm not a size zero like models are, but rather I have curves that make me a sexy woman. It definitely boosted me up. Advantages, wonderful mood and attitude booster. Disadvantages, none. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. The uh, Becca would need confidence booster. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, nutshell. Yep. <laughs> Mantra <laughs> included in the section just called Pterodactyl, <laughs> Triassic Dinosaur, Spirit Stone. Yeah. Oh, no, they're not dinosaurs, the they're pterosaurs! <laughs> That's what it says. God damn it! It says that. It says, it says Triassic it does Dinosaur. It. Also, it's Mantra who gave us pterodactyl. It's not... Oh my god! It's pterodactyl it says, pterosaur. It says pterosaur. Uh, it's not it a also dinosaur. says dinosaur. It says pterodactyl, pterosaur, Triassic yeah. dinosaur, spirit stone! Yeah. I can't believe Fordex is reading this. <laughs> this is for a pterodactyl, dinosaur, busy. spirit stone chosen especially for you! Portex. For you, Portex. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta play the, the, the game and read the pterosaur thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Go ahead, you do it. I score. Alright. <laughs> How do I get out of this window? There we go. I assume you already right. have taro in your control app. Yeah, I've got, yeah, taro, dactyls, Jurassic <laughs> dinosaur, spirit stone. Yes. All right, let's do it. We're doing this. This is for pterodactyl, dinosaur, spirit stone chosen especially for you. Dinosaurs, for you, poor Dex. wild and domestic animals are for the companionship of the collector. They learn about the energies of different species and how to interact with them. As always, when you introduce... When they need a new energy type into your life, you may need a small period of adjustment. Oh, I lost. <laughs> you acclimated the energy, usually 20 to 30 days. You will see a connection to this creature, and you'll notice a stronger energy connection to nature in general. The pterodactyl. If it takes you a month to connect to a pterodactyl, something's wrong with you, Vortex. Take hey, like, look, what, 20 minutes? You're my friend. <laughs> The pterodactyl lived during the Cretaceous period, between 65 and 220 million years ago, whose subspecies Did range it? from smallest to large sized dinosaurs. Ah! Did it? That <laughs> sounds right to me. <laughs> and all the pterosaurs! I'm, I'm learning so much from this art. Mosquitoes. And they're <laughs> fucking. You did this to me, mosquitoes! <laughs> I mean, why would the magic site lie to me? They've got to know what it means. Yeah. Regardless of which pterosaur you receive, they are all on a, the aggressive side and have fluctuating energies from mild to intense. They That's are more racist. of an in-your-face creature. <laughs> <laughs> they are the best accompanied with someone who enjoys the dark arts as an active lifestyle. We prefer to individually match the dinosaur spirits of the collectors because, as with any wild creature, they are picky with their companions. Because <laughs> dinosaurs... <laughs> All paleo creatures know what magic is. <laughs> Buy a dinosaur we, soul. <laughs> we do not name them and suggest that you bond with them to give them a moniker that you feel best suits them. With, hey. dinos with dinosaur and prehistoric creatures, we always bind to gemstones because it is the most fitting materials that makes them the most comfortable. <laughs> you will receive one spirit stone of the pterosaur that best responds to you. 
That's already in your cart, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. no, I want it. Give it to me. No. <laughs> Give me the last like a... friend. Give me the Morphodon friend. Is that like a little plastic pterosaur inside the gym? I, I'm fine with that. What are they <laughs> oh, they don't give us. They don't, they don't have the list of which pterosaurs they have, though. They, have well, they don't have names, so it's pterosaur one. What? That's not what they. That bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> Come back, my net attack this. Do they have any pictures well, of the pterosaurs? There's, there's, there's no pictures of them. There's either. an awful lot of different vessels that you can choose. Like you could have a bone pendant or a leather bracelet or a stainless well, Is it like thing. a Caviramus? Is it like a Thalassodromius? Is it Demorphodon? <laughs> is it Pterodactylus Kochi? I like to say that because it's a Kochi. They have a picture of it. Do oh, they? like on the page they have a picture of it. Let me let me grab it real quick. Oh, oh sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> is it Pterodostro, the one that looks like it has a fucking toothbrush for a face? Oh, that's one of my favorite ones. Oh, I've clicked yeah. on the wrong uh, no, that's, that's not what I... Okay. Uh, let me... It, yeah, it let copied I'll, the I'll wrong on address. The Hold on. It's this one. Is, there we go. Is, 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 where the fuck? There we go. Where is it? Where's no God? Uh, we called that free write. Why don't I see it? It should be in the. There we go. No, I was the... just looking for a panel on the on the, on the thing I created. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. it's... Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, it's very small. Hold on. Let's see if I can make that bigger. <laughs> Sku sps taro lb. <laughs> no, I can't the make it bigger. The picture's so small. It's not. It's... You got some powerful hot man highlight. I think that's... Highlights. <laughs> that looks like uh, one of the statues from Dinosaur Kingdom in Natural Bridge. Virginia. Yeah, somebody. That's looked... what I was thinking. Everybody, uh, just keep in your mind that there's a place called and in and there's a place called Natural Bridge, Virginia, which has uh, a a park that is uh, like dinosaurs and like Civil War soldier statues all over the place. Yeah, uh, yeah. and also yep, uh, something called the Foamhenge. So. Radical. Yeah, because di- yeah, because dinosaurs and men had to have lived together. What else could the behemoth be but a dinosaur? They have 989 pterosaurs available in stock. Uh, yeah, I, I, they're about to have zero. <laughs> I drove like an hour and a half out of the way to go to di- Natural Bridge, Virginia, and like the Dinosaur Kingdom was uh, technically not yet open for the summer, um, <laughs> but the gate was not locked, so I got to enjoy ah! it. <laughs> <laughs> they had this little this little building where I guess they have like you know like a like a staff room in there because they do t- like guided tours through it and I just like stuffed a like a ten dollar bill <laughs> <laughs> under the door. So well, the dinosaurs. I was like, I needed to pay we something for this. Story, too, <laughs> Is there a zoom in on Nope. <laughs> uh, are we still doing this shit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, friend. Hey Jimmy Franks, Terrace. you like to contact spirits through birds? Who doesn't? <laughs> Is that like just a uh, parrot? I slowly Many raise my birds hands. are <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good old uh, augury. Friend. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to birds. Mm-hmm. Through spirits. Or vice versa. <laughs> just standing <laughs> under trees yelling up, Hey birds! <laughs> <laughs> hey you talk There's to no- a ghost. <laughs> There's no doubt birds have played an important role with the spiritual realm for millions of years. On their fragile wings, they can carry messages between the physical and spiritual realm. Birds have a special (laughs) place in the traditions of interaction between humans and spirits. They're charged with responsibilities that can only be executed by them. Different birds have different roles within the realm, but one thing is certain. They all have contact with the spirits. Some more than others. I'm Leonard Nimoy. This is in search of. (laughs) Uh, No, those are demons. (laughs) I believe that. This, this, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy likes what? Oh, this is funny, Jimmy Franks. This Do you know is, a goose? <laughs> this listing is for a bag of bird seed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This wow. Is, this is an ancient technique of contacting spirits <laughs> who reside within the spirit realm, be they human or other entity. It's a simple <laughs> ritual that allows you to send messages to those you love who have passed, those you. <laughs> want to engage contact with, etc. The ritual for this communication is very simple and instructions for it will be included for the winter. The bird seed is blessed and casted with a spell to attract the birds with spirit connection to carry your message swiftly and without fail. This is a right used for thousands of years and quite effectively. Our price? Ten dollars. Wow. Well, pricey. Wiley Coyote uh, bought to command this, right? the birds to your will? 
Yeah. I'm in. No. I spent all my money on the pterosaur stones, though. Don't yeah. spot me. Who's that, who's that old wizard that's at the park every Sunday? <laughs> Feeding the birds. <laughs> old lady from uh, Malone, too. All right, F+. Plus. The old lady from Mary Poppins. Yes? What did we learn? I learned we learned that uh, magic is, ex is expensive. Uh, or cheap. Yeah, and there's lots of accreditation involved that I didn't realize was necessary to be a McGicken. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand if any of these spells are cast or just like emanated out of these if like bobbles. I, I that you think buy they from just them. send you like the things that aren't actual objects like the bag of bird seed. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I think they're actually just like PDFs that they that's why the link expires after 24 hours so you can't just Give the link to all, all all your other magician friends, and they all <laughs> download it too. Uh, I learned that twenty hours into a marathon, I'm incapable of comprehending and explaining uh, a website. So <laughs> <laughs> I learned that I was the most patient fucking kid in the universe for using goddamn Mario Paint for anything. <laughs> oh man, I'm not arguing with the results though. That the, oh, yeah. <laughs> the follow through on amazing. The yeah. Little really skull heads, like oh, little skulls. Yeah, yeah, the little floating evil skulls and stuff. Yeah, I did. I'm good. And you did also, the, you did that with the mouse. Yep, yeah. the whole thing was with the mouse. Fantastic um, cortex. Hang on, but since it is Mario Paint, let's see if now we have to do the tradition. We have to save oh, it. Yes. <laughs> save. Wait, this save work? <laughs> oh, yay, robot! Start. <laughs> Was it being processed? Anyone who's, okay. anyone who's played uh, Mario Maker will actually recognize this because they put a bunch of paint stuff in. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, learned, I learned that you can charge people money to teach them how to have a sexual fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Okay, uh, we're gonna be back in like eight minutes or so uh, with Lemon. I believe Lemon, Frank West, Jimmy Frank's Toast, Portax, Ironicus, uh, and on the art stream, Positronic. Nice. Cool. Doing... I'm positive it will be good. Yeah, Yo, doing whatever rebirth what of reason. There. Oh, that's the Randy and Superman one. Have fun. <laughs> I'm not here. Are you still positive? God. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm... 